Good morning, everybody, and welcome to PhotoMatch, an open source multi view and multimodal feature matching tool for photogrammetric application. My name is Diego Gonzalez Aguilera, and this is a scientific initiative supported by the ISVRS. Below, you can see the universities and research centers that have taken place in this initiative. I would like to motivate that one of the main pillars of the photogrammetric 3D reconstruction is the feature extraction and matching. In fact, up to date, there is not a tool that allows us to combine and test different detector, descriptor and matching with a didactical interface. It's also important to offer the user the possibility to analyze the different parameters applied and the quality obtained. And last but not least, to cope with different multi-view and multimodal datasets. Regarding to the goals of this software, first, to develop an open source educational tool that enclose different state-of-the-art algorithms for tight point extraction and matching strategies, to improve the computational costs exploiting GPU and parallel computing, including CUDA programming capabilities, to assess the results of time point extraction from a quantitative point of view using some statistical and robust parameters, in the end, to prove the applicability of the developed tool with various datasets from an aerial oblique, passing through terrestrial dataset, drone, multimodal, among others. In this slide, we can see the pipeline of the PhotoMatch software, starting with the preprocessing algorithms combining different strategies for improving the input dataset passing through the feature extraction, combining different detector and descriptors, the feature matching, combining matching methods with descriptor distance and different strategies, and last but not least, the quality assessment based on quality metrics. Now I would like to outline some of the results of PhotoMatch, starting with the multi-view dataset using a nine other anoblic images provided by the ISVRS Euro SS SDR benchmark, where all input images were preprocessed based on recursively separated and weighted histogram equalization. We choose this preprocessing strategy because it preserves the image brickness more accurately and produces images with better contrast enhancement. We also apply robust matching strategy supported by RANSAC using the fundamental matrix and geometrical test. Detector with affin invariant performance such as Shift, MSR, Bricks, and MSD were used. Detectors that incorporate their own descriptor and those which are invariant to rotation and scale such as Brief, Bricks, and Shift were used as well. Here we can see the results obtained with the multi-view dataset. As we can see in the table, SIF plus SIF detector descriptor provides the best results in terms of number of matchings, as well as the true positive matching rate. It is also important to note that the bridge detector shows a good performance with its combined with its own descriptor, but with its combined with SIF, the performance is even better. In some cases, BRICS plus SIF has improved considerably the results obtained by SIF plus SIF. Regarding to the multimodal dataset, a set of 10 thermographic and visible images over an urban area were captured with a manned arch light motor. A specific detector descriptor combination together with a differential adaptation of the detector parameter was used. In the end, MSD detector combined with the SIF descriptor was the combination that provides the better results. Considering different salience, threshold S, and number of selected points, you should know that the salience represent the level of dissimilarity between neighboring pixels, that is, the way a K point is different. In the end, a robust matching function supported by RANSAC estimator with different distance threshold, D, and different filtering coefficients, K, was used. In this slide, we can see the result of the multimodal dataset in the two different images on the table. In the table, we can see that the triplet combining MSD, SIF plus robust matcher has provided better results. 
MC and MT refer to the correct matching and total matching respectively. In bold, we can see the combination that provides the best efficiency. K, K and N indicates the minimum number of salience points considered. If it was 3, it will keep the 3 points that have the highest salience, that is, more different points. The parameter D indicates the orthogonal distance to the people aligned in pixels. K is a wave factor based on the normal distance too. Now I would like to show the quality metrics that we can include in Photomatch software. We can assess the result provided by Photomatch in the feature matching and feature extraction from a visual inspection where the user manually can assess the result in the multi-view dataset, for instance, including some grown to editor where the user can identify manually different matchings in order to assess the quality of the result, or using the fundamental matrix as metric quality in order to see the precision. Last but not least, we also include some metrics based on curves that compare the true positive rate versus false positive rates using the confusion matrix. So we can see the different triplets representation combining the different detector, descriptor, plus robust matching in this graphic interface. Last but not least, we have included an educational interface where the user can analyze the different detectors, descriptors, information related with the performance of the different algorithms, but also some simulators where the user can understand sometimes the difficult or complex abstraction that represents the combination of detectors and descriptors. Regarding to the conclusions, this video has outlined the result of the ISPRS scientific initiative. The output of the software is public and open source. You can see here the link. The structured correspondences can be exported in various formats in order to launch a bundle adjustment with other tools. Photomats include GPU and parallel computing, as we can see, including QDAC programming capabilities. It offers various metrics to evaluate the quality of matching results, including manually defined ground through or metric curves. An educational tutorial and manual are also available in order to explain the implemented methods. And matching and deep learning approaches are coming, especially for dealing with multimodal datasets. So this is all. Thank you a lot for your attention.